Hello friends, I wanted to make a really quick video on makeup in The Sims 4 and in the carnival kit in particular. So some of you may know this, some of you may not. Um, with the makeup um, now um, added in a patch it are makeup sliders. So you can take any of the makeups, you can change the colour of them, you can change uh, how um, opaque they are um, you can change uh, the saturation how bright you know how much depth does that color have um, and uh, you can change how light or dark they are as well so by playing around with these you can actually make some really really beautiful really subtle color combinations of makeup and you can add them so that you can use them again on that sim uh, so I went for that kind of like um, like uh, coral lipstick with the green I thought that was a really nice party look uh, but I kind of want to show you um, how you can apply this to the new eyeshadow that's in the game as well so the new eyeshadow in the game is actually extremely vibrant let me just make sure that is added it is so you can see how these are they are fabulous right they are fire they are amazing however they are very 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 bright and maybe that's not to everybody's taste maybe you want something that's slightly more subtle so what you can actually do is take something like this and uh, you can uh, you can change the hue if you wanted a slightly different hue of it um, you can really turn down that opacity now those very very uh, defined edges are not very realistic normally when you put makeup on you blend right you blend 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 so if you turn down the opacity it looks much much more blended um, you you can also turn down the saturation for a more subtle look and you can turn down the um, the the brightness as well and I think that has a much much more sultry kind of uh, nighttime look so if you're looking for something more subtle that is definitely something that I recommend doing um, and yeah you can create some really really nice variations on that with with that technique so jumping over to the other eyeshadow here um, let me just find an example of where I've used it um, <laughs> I'll be back with you in a second. Here we go. So again, like the um, the current eyeshadow as it stands is extremely, extremely vibrant, um, and it may be a little bit much for some of you. So again, you can slightly adjust it right to something that's a little bit more tonal. Um, you can really bring down that opacity, make it much, much more subtle. Uh, bring down that saturation as well and the darkness, and it just makes it much much more subtle and uh, a little bit more sultry and kind of like um, you know a nighttime date kind of look so I hope you found that helpful do take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon bye guys